Yes, I do. Listen, Leo, did he say anything? Did he say anything? The president's pissed as hell at you, Josh, and so am I. I know. We gotta work with these people. And where the hell do you get off strutting your... I know. Al Caldwell's a good man. Al Caldwell wasn't there. I'm saying you take everyone on the Christian right, dump them into one big pile, and label them stupid. We need these people. We not need these Josh. people. Josh. We need Al Caldwell. We want Al Caldwell. We do not need John Van Dyke. We do not need Mary Marsh. And well, I think there shouldn't be instant replay in football, but that's not my call now, is it? He was stupid. Damn straight. I was right, though. Like, I don't know that. Oh, Mr. McGarry, have they done an X-ray? Yep. Is anything broken? A $4,000 Linex titanium touring bike that I swore I'd never lend anyone. I don't understand. How did He's you... a klutz, Mrs. Landingham. Your president's a geek. Mr. McGarry, you know how I feel about that kind of talk in the Oval Office. I apologize. Just in this room, Mr. McGarry, is all I'm asking? Yes. Oh, Bonnie, hmm. call OEOB and set up a briefing for the vice president. Let's coordinate with Katie Simon's office on the appointments. Should I get everybody in? Yeah, Margaret. Please call the editor of the New York Times crossword and tell him that Gaddafi has spoke with an H and two Ds and isn't a seven-letter word for anything. Is this for real or is this just funny? Apparently it's neither. I don't know. I think it would have made more sense to get a regular size shampoo bottle instead of 20 tiny ones. It's a big bottle. You gotta lug it off and on the bus. Lug? How big do they make them? Look, the little bottles give you just as much shampoo without the weight. Perfect for travel. Plus, they're cute. All right. Oh, I want to stop by the post office. I want to get tons of blank postcards. You are going to get so many postcards. You could just email me. Yeah, but postcard sending is a dying art form, right? And it's nice to get mail. Sure. Plus, we'll talk all the time. Yeah, what else do you need? Um, a mini book light. Oh, man, I had a mini book light, but I lent it to Paris. And by lent, I mean she totally stole it. I think we have a mini book light in the lost and found at the end. It's been there like a month. Oh, poor rejected book light. Maybe you should adopt it and give it the love it needs. All right, check. What else do we need? Ooh, hey, I have a great idea. Come here, play. Where are we going? Remember last year when Miss Patty hurt her back during rehearsal for Spring Fling? Oh, yeah. She should have never demonstrated the jetaise for the little daffodils. But she had one of those back support things that you put on top of chairs. I bet she'd loan that to you. Uh, yeah, but do I really want to be known as back support thingy girl? Uh, hello. Two-hour speech, metal folding chairs, and now we'll take questions for an hour. Just call me back support thingy girl. It's weird. She never locks this. Miss Patty! Miss Patty! Lando? There's a horse in my parking space. Why are you riding a horse? It's not mine, Rolando. Oh, uh, would I call security about that? I don't know. That's why they pay you the big bucks. Wait, Dr. Ross? Eight little ranger scouts, diarrhea, mucho. Which is why they pay you the big bucks. Josh got up early. Let me sleep in. Our mothers are coming for brunch. Uh, he was going to clean the kitchen bathroom. Was he unconscious when you found him? Yes, he mixed them all with bleach. I thought he'd know not to do that. OK, we'll take care of him. Let's get him in here. You're going to have to stay out here. Uh, Michelle, uh, we'll take care of him, OK? Three, one, two, three. Oh, two, ten okay, liters. Nebulizer? Yeah, I'm giving 125 milligrams solumedrol IV push. Malik, we'll call radiologist. Get, get a portable this. chest filled. You got it. DP's going nowhere. Still 50 over 30. Carter, should we yank it? No, not yet. Gonna need a Foley. All right. Four units. 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 Four I don't know yet, but we'll do everything we can. Please wait out of here. What have we got, Peter? 15-year-old male impaled on a rebar. We need to get him up to the OR for an x lab Hold on. Metsy's up there. He'll take him. Anesthesia's on. Come on. You're going with me. OR for three. Hold on. I can't leave. Hold it. All right. Clear the hallway. Let's get the elevator. Let's move. Go. Clear. Clear. Get out the way. Let's move. Heads up. Look out. Nice for size. My kid's mother's day. Yeah. Shooting. <laughs> You guys need any help? No, got it under control. Chlorine gas poisoning. He's on humidified oxygen. 15 liters per minute. Gave him medrol. 125 milligrams IV. Respiratory's coming down. Okay. Call me if you need anything. Drop blood gas. Okay. Hold down for that. Thank you. Good job. Yeah. He didn't like it. Thought it was fine. I thought it was a hell of a lot better than five. It was good. It's outstanding. You blew the D section. Tony, they're still in the feet here. Yeah, I said it was fine. <laughs> Sam, 
Nice going. Thank you. Tell him. Why? Because well, Sam wrote two and a half paragraphs and I wrote 37 pages. Still. <clears throat> he blew the D section. I thought it was inspired. Why do you keep saying stuff like that to me? <laughs> Just to watch your face turn that color. CJ. Hey, your little fan club was out in full force tonight. Yeah, well, they like me in my tux. Do you think I have an unusually large neck? What the hell? I'm just asking, because one of the... Stop talking. What's up? I want you to look calm while I'm telling you this. Tell me what? We lost five. What do you mean? 802, five votes, jump the fence. Are you kidding me? Nice job looking calm. Are you kidding me? Leo just got off the phone with a whip. Last nose count, we're five votes down. What the hell happened? We don't know. Give me names. We're finding out. Josh, I yeah. Hi there. Hi. Happy days are here again? He likes it. Who? The president. We try and avoid having the president make aesthetic decisions. I made the decision. Right. And I don't mean to step on your toes, but you might want to rethink marrying the line. Kids are dead. Kids are dead. Happy days are here again. It's optimistic. Thank you very much, bro. Thank you. Good night. Toby. Sir. What'd you think? I thought my work was outstanding, Mr. President. I thought you would. Thanks for asking. Couldn't help but notice you got a little extemporaneous there in the D section. Oh, you noticed that, did you? Yes, sir, I did. Yes, I did a little polish right up there on my feet. Yes, indeed. Right in front of everybody. <clears throat> I looked to the side at one point, you know, I half expected to see you coming at me with a salad fork. Well, but for the Secret Service agents restraining me, yeah. sir. Thank God for the Secret Service. Bless hey there, heart. fella. She deserves a nice room and some supper. <laughs> you like doing that, don't you, sir? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Charlie. Yes, sir. What do you think of the speech? Me? Yes, you. I uh, thought it was. It means the text of the speech, Charlie, discounting the little improv in the D section. I mean the entire speech, Charlie, and in particular, the delivery. I thought it was excellent. See? See? <laughs> See, I think what Charlie's trying to say is that in this case, the singer outdistanced the song. Really? Uh, what I heard Charlie say was that the text was user-proof, although you did your level best to, to disprove that in the D section. You know what, Toby? Sir. You're what my mother calls a pain in the ass. Well, that's what my mother calls it, too, sir. Uh, oh, Mr. President. Yes, Charlie, by the way, did the first lady call? The first lady called at 840, sir. She wished you luck and told me to tell you to take your back medicine. My back is I fine. I have it here, sir. Those damn things make me goofy. You brought this thing quite adamant. This slap her tone as being... You don't have to describe her tone to me, Charlie. I've been married to it for 32 sir, years. I don't want to get in trouble with Give you. Give me the medicine, Charlie. Thank you. Have a good night. I'll see you in the morning. Yes, sir. Thank you all.